Yo there guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video, I talked about how to create a dynamic formula using validation techniques in creating an interface that is user-friendly using a validated data. Today, I'm moving on to another interesting topic which is one of my favorite topics in an Excel called Pivot Tables. I'm going to show you how to create an Excel pivot table but before going to that let me explain what is pivot, what pivot table is and its purpose within an Excel within an Excel pivot table gives summary summarized details of the whole data using simple interface right here before me I have up to 1000 list of source analysis all right in this type of list, something you need to do is to summarize the list. Each list showing each source taking place with month, region, unit sold, unit price, sales channel, and as well as sales person within each respective product type. Now, we need to take the details and summarize it. How do we go about it? Pivot table does this for us. The idea of Pivot table is to go from detail list to a simple summarized table. Let me leave this story and go into how to create an Excel Pivot table. Now, let us summarize the list on a Pivot table. All right. The first step is to click on anywhere on the list. Irrespective of where you click, you can click on the year, month, salesperson, region. Just click on anywhere on the list. Now, go to your insert tab here now click on what a pivot table so once you click on the pivot table it is going to select all the whole list on the table this is because it is, we have already will click on anywhere on the table now the option list which is going to come up here which is showing you the new sheet and what existing worksheet new sheet it means if you want your pivot table to be created on a new worksheet. Why the existing thing is saying is telling you that if you want if you want your pivot table to be created on the same worksheet, let's choose a new worksheet to make our work more readable and more interpretable. Now, all right, you can see that immediately we click on what a new worksheet, another interface work uh, came up. So we just name our new worksheet yet what pivot table all right so now the new pivot table is is created now if you can see that if i click on type pivot table you will notice a new pivot feed which is going to display at the right hand side at the right hand side of the worksheet showing all the list of data we want to work with with the pivot table now let's start building our pivot table we can be dragging the list on the pivot table feed here all right into the box below here that is the filter the filter box or or the column label or the row label or the value label all right okay if i want to know the total source all right in, in for the for for the for the list i should i can, I can drag the sales down here on the value field here all right if i want to know the total if I don't notice it by each month, so I can drag the drag it down to what yeah, you can see that automatically it gives me what to tasks for each month January, February, March, and April, and so on and so forth. Now, if I want to work to load the total sale by each salesperson, I can also drag it down to this bit to here. You can see that automatically it's showing me what the total sale by each work. By each salesperson on the on the heading here, Haron, Hebel, which is 
Aaron Eben have been Abdu Ebel Abraham. So telling me the total C for each and every word every more every month. I can as well walk around by what by changing the word the interface by bringing down the word the months to know the total to, to make the word total months here i can drag the total month here right then the, to know the total sales i can also see that to know the totals and the sales and uh, the sale the sales for each you know, the value for each sales person here you can see that automatically it's showing me the total sales here well followed by what each month i can also work around with the type 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 of the total and the sales i want by the by type the total product by type if i want to know the total source by by type two type of product you can see that beverages for each and every month baby food beverages cereal so you can see that it's giving me what the the giving me the and uh, the details by month by month and with respect to what they are product type so this is Pivot table is very good. It will definitely give you a give you summarized details of all your all your details on the on this in a summarized way. In other words, to make your work to be to be more presentable and more readable. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll keep giving you more of a updated list. Bye.